Well, this morning, SDG&E is promising us some relief from those massively high bills. Some of you saying two, three, four hundred percent higher than last month. The utility company says natural gas prices are finally dropping and customers should expect to see their bills decline. Hopefully as soon as this February bill that you get, January's was really tough to look at. We did ask you to send us your electric bills. We've been working for you to get answers on why they are so high. CBS 8's Chris Grow live outside SDG&E headquarters here in Kearney Mesa with details on the big update from SDG&E. Good morning, Chris. Yeah, good morning, Eric and Netta. And look, a lot of people are going to be very excited to hear that their February bill is going to be a lot lower. And even then, moving forward, March, April and May likely to be lower as well, too. And that's good news because the price of natural gas is going down. But some people are wondering how much is it really going down? Take a listen. I think it's welcome news. The gas rate for our San Diego Gas and Electric customers went from $5.11 in January to $2.77 in February. And so you're hearing the per unit price there from that sdg &E spokesperson, but in other terms, it's going down 68%, which again, another way of saying it's going down a lot. The average gas bill is expected to drop from $225 in January to $110 in February, and it is not expected again to go up in March. So why the sudden drop? Well, that's the way the market shifted. Now, some people did notice that earlier and still saw high bills, and that's been another question that we've seen from some of our viewers. Why is there a delay? Well, sdg &E explains that they purchase in windows of time, so consumers may not see that price drop right away. Essentially, there's a little bit of a delay. Plus, by law, sdg &E has to sell gas for what it is that they buy it for. Still, the huge spike hurt a lot of people. In fact, we asked you, San Diegans, to send us your high utility bills, and we got a lot, including this one from a 90-year-old woman who lives alone on a fixed income and is paying more than $340 a month. Does that ease any of your frustrations? No, because I know how easily they can raise it again. I feel like I'm being gouged. And if you go on your phone to CBS8.com or even the app, you can find that there are some resources for those who are having trouble paying their bills, both with SDG&E and even with the state.